already know who it is, man. It's your boy Humphrey J. Campbell, aka Hum Diggity Dog, Sexist Man Not Alive. Welcome to another episode of Wakeful Dreaming, man. As always, I'd like to say thank you for tuning in to another episode. And if you haven't already, please be sure to do the necessaries. Subscribe, leave a like, turn on notification, comment, share the video. It helps with the algorithm. And in all support is greatly appreciated. That being said, <coughs> Let's not waste any more time and just jump into today's topic, man. Today's topic, as always, was voted on by you guys. And the title is Turning Lust into Gifts. Yeah. Actually, I'm really excited to talk about this one because this one hits home. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> this one hits home. I'm sure if you're a male, if you're a guy, you know. A lot of guys voted for this one. If you're a guy, then you understand the challenges we have to go to with lust. It's like sexual desire, bro, for a man. It's like that's the one thing that drives man the most to do anything, really. You know, and I feel like getting a good control or a good understanding over this is very beneficial. So let's talk about it, man. Turning lust into gifts. All right. So first, um, let me lay let me lay the groundwork so that we can understand what lust actually is. Because I feel like we only have a surface level understanding of it. Of course, lust is like an excessive desire for women, right? That's what we understand typically about lust. But lust is your is sexual energy, <clears throat> and sexual energy is your creative potential biologically it's expressed as reproduction think of it as potential energy that can manifest into any form one form it takes is reproduction so just think about that you quite literally have the ability to create life to create another human being you have the potential to do that wrap your head around that that's not how that's that's a lot of power in your hands that is a lot of power but unfortunately due to societal conditionings especially from systems like religion what they do is they constrict they try to limit the flow of this energy and that's a fear response they are afraid that if they let this energy this potential creative energy loose it might be destructive and <clears throat> it has been destructive this same creative energy is the one that creates atom bombs guns weapons that kill other human beings you see this is religion's fear that they're afraid so they constrict the flow of this sexual energy by telling you sex before marriage is a sin by basically demonizing sex but unknowingly it's because of that constriction because when you constrict your energies, they find, they try to find a way out. They try to find openings. So it's like they're forcing themselves out. And that's why it gets expressed in perverted ways. Because it's constricted. Instead, we should seek to understand this energy. Not try to constrict it. Not try to demonize it. Not try to fear it. By putting mental constructs, like ideologies, like sex is evil, demonizing it. That doesn't help. What we need to do is learn how to properly circulate this energy because it's natural, it's your creative potential. And in nature, we need creativity. That's what perpetuates life. Quite literally, the act of sex is a creative act that creates life. But this creative potential doesn't only create life, it also creates means to help life. That's what society is. We build cars, buildings, chairs, tables, utility you know spoons shit like that to make life easier right but when we constrict this energy it it gets expressed in in perverted ways one being lust you're lusting over women you have an uncontrolled desire over women or it could be cars money all these things first things like cars buildings you know these are forms of feminine energy right and when you're lusting over this it's your masculine energy trying to find expression usually like in like i said in biological terms the woman inspires the man to act and approach her and through that action when they start mingling the man gets to express himself gets to express his creative potency and through that expression combined with the feminine creates life so when you constrict that 
it finds ways of expressing itself and usually they're perverted ways and for a man it becomes your lust of women you want to have sex with a thousand and one women and you're still not satisfied right or you amass so much wealth but you're still not satisfied that's because this energy isn't being expressed in a healthy way because if it were expressed in a healthy way you'd be fulfilled but the only way for this energy to express itself in a healthy way is for you to learn how to circulate it <clears throat> through your body right now this next segment i get actually get from this book i just finished reading is called the way of the superior man by david Deida. I'll have it linked in the description if you want to download it and read it for yourself. From this book, the author talks about this concept of turning lust into gift. When a man sees a beautiful woman, he feels an energy within him. That energy is usually, usually interpreted as sexual desire. But like I've said, this energy is your creative potential. Sexual desire is just one manifestation of it. The reason why it goes to sexual desire first is due to conditioning. You see, Sexual desire, that means the energy stagnates in one area, which is usually your genitals or your mind. If it stagnates in the genitals, you get aroused. For a man, you get a, you get a boner, you know what I'm saying, right? If it stagnates in your mind, you start fantasizing about fetishes, about women who turn you on. But this is due to societal conditioning. Stuff like porn trains you to only use, only convert your sexual energy, your creative potential into sexual desire. Years and years of being exposed to pornography trains our system to only convert this potential energy into sexual desires, which is a form of manipulation if you didn't if you didn't already know. The systems that run sites like the like, like Pornhub, you know, pornographic sites basically, these systems, they quite literally drain you, they suck your creative potential because again like i said in the beginning your creative potential has the ability to create a life so that's a lot of energy they suck this energy through your money because what money represents is time energy attention and through time energy and attention that's how you basically that's how we exchange our energies it's through money but it's not it's not about the paper it's what the paper represents when you are on that website you're giving it your time energy and attention you go a step further you pay for a subscription only fans she like that you're quite literally spending your time energy and attention which is your creative potential which is creative energy so all your creative energy going into this website because that's the only way you know how to express your creative potential because that's what you've been trained to do and they benefit from this because they're getting all your time and attention. People need to realize it's not about the physical money. It's the money represents time and attention. When you're giving someone your money, you're giving them your time, attention. You're giving them your attention, which is your best, which is your most valuable currency. Energetically speaking, you're feeding him your energy, your creative potential. So these systems like pornography or um, the whole system of over-sexualizing women, it's it's not just it's not it's that it's serving a purpose and that purpose is to drain you of all your creative potential converting it all into just lustful desires now you have people just sitting home beating their meat and they're so depressed and anxious why because their creative potential isn't going into something creative because you as a system as a human system you are here for a reason you are a part of nature you are an integral part of nature and nature has given you this creative potential so that you can create and serve nature or in other words serve society but instead where is that energy going into beating your meat among other things chasing women that's another thing chasing money that's another thing chasing success your energy is being so constricted it's so desperate to find a form of expression it finds perverted ways of expressing itself creating weapons chasing women chasing wealth instead of actually creating things that are helping, that are beneficial to nature, to society. Instead, we're creating things that are destroying nature or the society. So this creative energy has the potential to create something productive or destructive. When it's constricted, it expresses itself in, in destructive ways, in lustful ways. But if we learn how to control it, when we learn how to properly circulate through our bodies, it will find productive ways of expression. We're gonna create things that are beneficial to the society. How do you do this? The first step is always 
to bring your awareness to it, which is what I'm trying to do here. So next time you see you feel horny, your first instinct is to open Pornhub. Just stop for a minute and just recognize, realize what you're doing. I realize that now I'm feeling this creative energy that I'm interpreting, in, interpreting as sexual desire, as lustful desire. But that again, keep in mind, that's just one form of expression. I can actually use this to come up with a creative idea right now. And that's why if a good exercise is usually when you feel horny, do exercise. When you exercise, you cre you're using your creative energy to quite literally build your body, bigger muscles or a better shaped body to lose weight. See, that's just a start though, but it's a good start. You know, if you're horny, instead of beating your meat, you exercise. You exercise because now you're using that creative energy in a more productive way. I wanna shed some light on stuff like no fab or forced celib celibacy, you know, not wanting to come up. These are all methods that people use to try to control or harness that creative potential, which is a good thing, which is a great, 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 great thing. But you should just keep in mind, if you're not going to, let's say, beat your meat, right? Don't go off the point of suppressing yourself. I hope I'm making sense. Don't try to suppress your urge by demonizing and saying it's bad. No, your sexual urges, they're normal, right? When you feel like beating your meat, it's normal. It's like, it's normal in the sense that it's normal that you have sexual desire. So don't demonize it. Some people demonize it. Some people try to repress it. And what happens when you repress it, you're still doing the same thing. When you repress it, you're constricting it. And what happens when you, it gets constricted, it's gonna find ways of expressing itself. And those ways are usually perverted. So now people are restricting, they're constricting their sexual urges and they become workaholics which is another form of imbalance. You haven't really solved the problem at its core. So don't try to suppress it. Bring your awareness to it. Understand it for what it is. When you find understanding, you won't need to suppress it. You'll just understand that I shouldn't be wasting it jerking off. I should be coming up with creative ideas, not because jerking off is quote unquote evil or demonic or you know immoral. It's just a waste of energy. That's it, when you just find, have that simple understanding, just a waste of energy, it's not because it's bad, it's because it makes me a better male, it's not because it makes me weak. No, it's just a waste of energy, that's it. When you demonize it, you suppress it, and that's not healthy. What you need to do is bring your awareness to it and be like, this is a waste of energy, I shouldn't be doing this, and it's gonna, you're naturally gonna do something else. But of course, I understand when you're starting off, it's harder, so you have to physically make yourself like work out but throughout the whole process, keep in mind that I'm not, it's the reason why I'm not beating my meat is not because it's immoral or it makes me weak or anything. It's just a waste of energy. I have that understanding. So I'm putting it in something more productive, like exercising, like celibacy, if you need to do that. But it shouldn't come off from a point of you demonizing it because that's what religion is trying to do. And that's obviously not working out, right? So that's how you turn your lust into gifts quite literally just bring your awareness and you understand that this lustful energy this sexual desire it's just creative energy it's just trying to find expression and right now because due to societal conditioning like pornography the only form of expression it knows is lustful energy sexual desire but i can actually take that and turn it into other forms of expression like creativity and make art, come up with solutions that help society as a whole. And that's it, man. That's the episode. If you stuck this long, thank you for sticking around, and listening to me. I hope the message resonates. And once again, check the description. I'm gonna link that book, The Way of a Superior Man, if you wanna read it. It's a great, 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 great resource. I'll also have my socials linked in the description. So check that out also subscribe leave a like turn on notification you know what to do man that being said i'll see you guys next week on tuesday peace actually no i'll see you guys tomorrow with a new episode of draw with me peace